Hey everybody, this is Agent Ice, and I'm back with some more Sonic Origins. So, went through and I played through Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which again, my favorite Sonic game of all time. And, well, we beat it with Tails, we beat it with Sonic and Tails, and we beat it with Knuckles. I thought, you know what, let's do some playthroughs of Sonic 2. A lot of people really like Sonic 2, and honestly, Sonic 2 is a fantastic game. It really is a fantastic game. So... <clears throat> I guess first things first, of course I'm going to be playing mirrored mode just because it's a little different and uh, I don't know, who should we play as today? We've got, so far I haven't cleared this one with Tails, I haven't beat it with Sonic and Tails, hmm, who should we do? I feel like Tails would be very quick and easy, you know what, let's just do uh Let's do Sonic and Tails. Let's get the dynamic duo rolling. All right. Although I did not put as much time into this game as I did Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I have spent a considerable amount of time playing Sonic 2 especially some of the ports for it that they had on several of the Nintendo systems. <clears throat> I even had a PC port for it back in the day. It had, well, a bunch of other Sonic games on it as well, but pretty good stuff. A lot of very memorable levels here. And we're going to try to beat this game with all of the... Whoops. With all of the emeralds. And we're going to start with this one. <clears throat> so hopefully, I won't suck today. And we'll knock these guys out. So of course, the first one's going to be nice and easy. And you know what? I like it nice and easy. <clears throat> Heck yeah, cool! We now need 80 rings. 28, come on. Ooh. A lot of times you can kind of guess where the rings are whoop, where the rings are going to be, but not always. A lot of times they follow the, the bends. But then you have times where they're on the opposite side, so. A lot of it just comes down to uh, having quick enough reaction and a little bit of memorization. And the memorization part's probably going to mess me up a little bit because I am playing mirrored mode. And so things are flipped. And though that may not seem like a huge challenge, you know, at least compared to others, uh, it really messes with muscle memory and stuff. So... <clears throat> But I'm starting to get used to mirrored mode, because I've been playing mirrored mode constantly. But it's been a blast. You know, it's a different way to play the game, and hey, I'm all for it. So that's one emerald down. Let's see if we can get a couple more here. You know what, I'm going to actually take the effort to get this because I hate losing my rings. Who would have thought, right? Simply not like losing the rings. Uh, where is that other sign post? It's not, I went too far. But you can actually get all of the emeralds within the first zone in this game, which is pretty awesome. I think the next one I need is actually... Oh! We got hit by the monkey! Alright, let's go. Let's get these rings! Oh! Uh, 
those ones are a little higher over there. Even Tails is picking up some of the ones I missed. The thing with Tails, it's great to have him because he'll pick up rings that you miss, but at the same time, you can't count on those rings being there because he reacts slower, and a lot of times he's going to step on bombs and lose a lot of the rings he has. But, you know, sometimes him being there really is kind of helpful. Just depends on the situation. Sometimes he gets in the way, too. His AI just kind of messes you over. I was watching a guy play the other day, and uh, he was on Hilltop Zone. Tails just kept making the lifts move before he even got to them. Whoa! See? Tails isn't going to react as quickly. Honestly, I barely made that one. I thought I was going to get hit by those mines. That's two down. Should be able to get, I think, at least one more. I think it's three in the first act, four in the second. And you know what? If for some reason I miss one, although I usually, I usually go well out of my way not to miss one. Well, you know, I could always make it work. Oh, come on. Can't remember. No, go away. Mr. B, dude. Trying to think if there's a... Nah, not there. Oh, I'll go pick up the shield. Yeah, every time you do one of those bonus levels, you lose your shield if you have one, and the level resets. But if you want to collect absurd amounts of rings, uh, well, you can definitely do so. Let's get that. I'm trying to think where this last guy is. Because I've played this, but I haven't... I played it super recently. Stupid coconut. Whoa! Come on, Tails. I need you, buddy. Hey. Honestly, it's very convenient that uh, he flies in this version of the game. Because I can just kind of do one of these deals and get up to this. Tails' mobility just makes him so good. Alright. worried when I go over one of those that uh, there's going to be a bomb. <clears throat> Some of them do that. Let's see. I always have to focus on these because there's just so much going on. Whoop! Whoop! I feel like they're just gonna throw a bomb at me randomly. Yeah, that wasn't too bad to avoid. Alright. Cool! Ah! No! I knew they were gonna do me dirty. Tails! You're not supposed to get blown up. Oh no. I failed! I'm gonna have to run it again. Ugh. I've been disgraced. Two rings short. Gosh darn it. There's times where I've done these all perfect, but I knew I knew this wasn't gonna go perfect today. Get the Blue Spheres is definitely my favorite bonus level for getting the rings, but this is a very close second. I do enjoy this.
All right, we got 75 that time. I'm feeling good about this run. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. Fortunately, this version of the game lets us retry the bonus levels, so that's kind of is a little cheaty, you know, compared to how the game was. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'll I'll take it. I've got nothing to prove. All right, we're cool again. Trying to blow me up. Who do you think you are? Whoop. Oh, I touched it. Shoot. Well, even with that minor mess up there, we got it. So we are three deep. And yeah, I could try to get these throughout the gameplay, but honestly, I just like to get these knocked out early on. Just just because that's the completionist in me, you know? Um, and what's, what's bad, too, is normally I don't even like using super mode. I, I honestly don't, because I like to listen to the music from the game. I wish there was a way to make it so it didn't play the super music. But hey... It is what it is. This game's got a couple of good ones, too. I mean, you know, they're all pretty good, but... I have my favorites, as does everyone else, right? Uh, let's see, y'all. I'm going... Oh, oh, that's what I get for... I looked away for a second, I let Coconut touch me, but that's fine. Hey, what's up, Drop Dash? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. I actually didn't realize that there were five in the second... Uh... Yeah, in the second act. I knew there were at least four. But yeah, they made it real easy to do it. And they give you a little room for air if you do mess up, which is pretty awesome. I don't think it's too hard to keep your rings for Chemical Plant either, so... It's pretty reasonable in my opinion. I'm trying to think. I think there's... I know there's that one. Isn't there one up here? Am I... Am I hallucinating? That's nah, not right there. There's something. Yeah, you gotta love those ads, just killing the audio. Honestly, I've been more and more tempted lately to just turn them off and say to heck with it. All right, let's do this. Oh, I got some bombs there. All right, focused. All right, we're cool. Let's go to stage two. We gotta get 51 more rings. Yeah, I was thinking it goes. Yep. Oh, shoot. I just missed a bunch there. Oh! I almost touched some bombs. That could have been bad. So 
So I barely squeaked through there. Oh! Let's do this. Come on. Oh, 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 that wasn't. Yep. Oh. Woo! That was scary. Tails, pick up some rings, buddy. Think. Bagged another one. Sweet. Oh, we only need three more, and I can easily get those. Hey, what's up, Xaner? Or Zaire. Excuse me. I, I'm... <laughs> a little tired today. Let's see. I gotta remember where this next one is. I think it's actually down below, if I'm not mistaken. It's either, it's either one up here, or I have to go down below where that stupid coconut is. I wish my memory was a little bit better. Should be a. I think I'm gonna have to go down. Yeah. I just gotta be careful not to mess myself up here because unfortunately I have to keep my darn rings. Hey! That's just what the doctor ordered. Not Dr. Robotnik, though. Yeah. Z. Alright, Z. That's pretty easy. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I gotta, I gotta try that trick you showed me the other day with chemical plant there. That looked pretty legit. I'm probably gonna fail hard though doing it. But... Maybe I can get to work. Ooh, ooh, bombs. Yeah, I think there's like... Alrighty. Oh god, these! No, I'm bad at these! Actually, that went alright! I probably couldn't do that again if I had... Ooh, oh, I almost touched that. Ah, they're doing me dirty there. I guess they gotta make it, you know, challenging somehow, right? Okay. Uh, oh, oh, it's up there. Now it's down below. Up top. Oh my god. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh god, no, not these. Alright, I got enough. I got enough. It's, it's all good. We got ourselves an emerald. All right, we just gotta bag two more of these bad boys. All right. Hey, I get excited over the... It's the little things in life. I think I have to go up at some point here. There should be a... This is too far. This is too far. I've gone too far. Tails, where are you, bud? I need you right now. Yeah, there's another... There's actually a couple of things here, because there's that... Oh shoot. I, I do have to get... I've got to get a little bit higher up here. Cause it's like... Oh, come on. It's a place it sucks to get to, cause... There's like a bunch of rings, and then there's a couple of coconuts. I can't... Watch me land on spikes, or get shot. That'll work, too. 
Got to challenge just... Oh! Just right. Oh my god. Come on. Here's where I get messed up bad. Alright. There should be like a... Because there's a couple. There's one that's like above a loop-de-loop, -loop, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, Tails. Get down here. This isn't... Oh my god. Okay, I... I can't jump off of Tails? Like... I gotta wait till he lands? Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, because I got that guy. And you go up. I'm... I don't know. I feel very lost for some reason. Like... I'm missing this. Because I'd normally come up here, I'd hit this guy. Wait! I think I just did it. Sort of. As long as I don't... Yeah, there we go. Alright. I had a... <laughs> I had to think for a second. <laughs> oh man, that that steel trap memory I've got there. I'm like, wait a second. Then I saw that red spring. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> oh my god. People are gonna be watching this later on YouTube and be like, man, is this guy, like, is he having a seizure or something? Like, what's wrong with him? Oh my gosh. Cool! 40 rings, let's see if we can knock these. Oh. I remember right, I think it switches, yeah. Yeah, it's on the same side, I messed that up. Ooh. I'm actually doing surprisingly well on these, because I normally miss like all of them, and then... I have one of those feels bad moments from all the rings I missed, but dang! I'm on fire with those tonight. Wait, oh, ah, no! Okay, well, there we go. The fire fizzled out. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We'll get it. We'll put in the work. Whoops. I just can't afford to mess up much more. Those bombs suck, man. Somebody set us up the bomb! You know, Zenner, I, Z, I might, I might just, uh, I might just do that. I might try to skip. We'll see. We might just try to skip. I want to try a couple of things. I'm all, I'm all for trying new stuff, you know what I mean? Yay! Take that, Mr. Bug Dude. Alright, let's get this last emerald and get out of here. Cheese this boss. But yeah, Sonic 2 and... I mean, really all of them, you can kind of get them early, but like... Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, you can really just bag the emerald so quickly. It's like three, it's like usually by the end of Hydro City you can get them all if you really have to. You can pick up some in Marble Garden. But... And then heck, when you get to the second part of the game, Mushroom Hill Zone, you can get all seven right there. So nice of them. Oh, oh, oh! Well, fortunately Tails did not have any of my rings, so he didn't lose anything. I almost ate a bomb, and that would not have tasted very good. That one felt a little close there. Alright, 
Well, we got 201. I just need nine more rings. All right, let's do this. Oh God, no, not this crap. These suck. Nope. Ah! I almost touched it. Oh, Tails, why are you bad, bro? Oh. No! Okay, now I'm bad. I can't, I can't criticize Tails. Wow, this is where I just throw the whole thing. Oh my god, did I just save myself? Did I dig my- I dug myself out of the ditch. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. We freaking did it. Oh my god. Oh my. That's right, people. We did it. All right. Man, I feel like I made like a big life achievement. They're gonna put that on my gravestone when I die. Dude, I cannot, I cannot Sonic CD. I don't even, that was that was one Sonic game I never really had an opportunity to play, and the couple of times that I did, I had no idea what the heck was going on there. Like I don't know, I don't know what it is. I get in there and I'm like, what is this game? You know, I, I I'm like time traveling and killing robots and planting flowers. Like what the hell is this? I just I'm absolutely lost when I play it. Let's see. Was it here? I don't remember. Oops. I think, like, I could be entirely wrong here. My understanding was that you're supposed to go into the past and kill all the robots or something. I, I, I like I said, I don't, I honestly don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to play that game at all. And it has the UFO thing, and I hate UFOs. I couldn't do them in Mania either. I know they're a little different in Mania, but... I don't know. Like, that, that game does not work with my brain. I also don't really want to play Sonic to go farm, or, you know, go hunt and kill robots. Nietzsche act this trend. Gotcha. I mean, it's a cool concept, don't get me wrong. But the way that game plays and, and everything, like, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. I don't even know if I'll, I'll bother with it. I mean, I'm, I'm good with Sonic 1, I'm good with Sonic 2, 3 and Knuckles. Hell, I'll play them separately if I have to. What? Wait. I, I just... Okay, it didn't let me move. That was cool. Not that I really needed anything up there, but that was... It just, like, locked up. I've noticed in the... Enhanced versions, shall we say, of these games, it is infinitely easier to get squished by literally everything. I don't know if they did that intentionally, or if, you know, that's just an unintended consequence, or when they made the originals, you were supposed to get squished easily, and it just didn't work out that way? I really don't know. It's like... You know, I'll be cruising along in super form or hyper form, depending on the game, and I'm I'm feeling like a million bucks. I'm like, yeah, come at me, bro. And then, like, I just get too close to, like, I don't know, something that just squishes me. Or, you know, being impatient as I am, if I'm waiting for, like, a platform to, like, go up and down or something, right, I'll go ahead and, uh... Yeah, you know, I'll push against it, so as soon as the platform's gone... I think I just missed something. No. I don't know. Um, but, like, as soon as there's enough space for him to fit in there, it's like, he has space, but he doesn't, and it just squishes you. And then you're dead. 
And you're like, what the heck just happened? Oh, I forgot to do that. Shoot. Zio will be very disappointed in me. I missed the skip. <laughs> I missed all the skips. Can I just, like, Superman jump? Heck yeah, let's do that. I'm probably gonna not... Oh, cool. That works. No! No! Okay, you know what? I actually don't like being super for that fight. I don't. At all. I'd rather be normal Sonic and have, like, better control of my guy and insta-kill Robotnik. Like, that's the funny thing. Most of the time in this game, I actually find Super Sonic to be more of an impediment than I do, uh, you know, being helpful at all. Because I couldn't do that as Super Sonic. There's no way in hell I would have pulled that off. But there, I'm just like, okay, like, eat it, Robotnik. <laughs> yeah, the water physics. Well, the thing is, I went too far, the water already came up, so I kind of, I goofed up there. Yeah, I'm sure, too, um, Z, you get squished a lot. Like, it's just... I, it, it's really annoying. You know, not enough for me to go sit there on Steam and be like, Yo, guys, like, this is another turd that, you know, came from Sega. You know, don't buy this. And post angry comments with, you know, long rants and emojis. But, you know, it's like, come on, man. Why? But, you know, they give me infinite lives and, you know, tries at bonus levels, so kind of... Really, I need one more. There we go. S Super Saiyan Sonic. There we go. Why don't we have, like, Sonic versus uh, Goku? I think there's like, what? Wasn't there seven Dragon Balls too? Like, what if they just, like. They just. They just ripped each other off. Actually, drop. I can. I can pull off Super Sonic in Wing Fortress. It's one of the few times I actually want to go Super. Because there's a really awesome skip I can do at the very beginning that, like. Gets you pretty much through the entire level. Because I can just go through the propellers. But other than that, now, Like, anything that requires any finesse, you gotta... You need precise movement. It's like, Super Sonic says, No, you don't. <laughs> it's like... It's so good that it's terrible. And then the other thing, too, is, again, you know, being the, the Sonic music nerd that I am, I really love listening to the OST for the game. And I don't, you know, not that the super music is bad, but, you know, I'd rather hear the level music. Again, that's just, that's just me. But... Let's see, dude, it, like, it's so weird looking at it because you've got, like, the the vegetation there, right? And it, it just, I I don't even, what killed me? Like, I, I honestly couldn't even see anything there. My eyes were too busy being crossed. <laughs> like, what is this? I died. Okay. I like getting squished. It's, it's a good time. Sonic Pancakes. All right, this time, this time we're not gonna die. We're gonna also not be harassed by whatever those are. Okay, Tails, you know what? Like, forget it. I don't need you. I don't need you. Just, just go away. You disappoint me. You disappoint me, son. <laughs> There's also a lot of times, too, you fly in super mode, and the stuff like that 
is timed so that normal Sonic doesn't get squished, and then you get squished because you're just that teensy bit faster. Sexy Robotnik. What? Oh, I took an arrow. I used to be a hedgehog just like you, and then I took an arrow to the knee. I did not know that drop dash. I'm catching up on the chat there. It doesn't surprise me because there's there's some commonality there. At least we don't have like Super Sonic the Hedgehog God mode or something like that, right? Man, I think uh, I think my next my next major investment is getting better lighting for this room. Although, I guess, you know, I look a little sketchier like this, but... <laughs> nope! I, I... Okay, see, that killed me because I could barely fit in there, and that's exactly... You know, I'm glad I died, because that, that completely demonstrated my point. Perfectly. I like there we go how does Sonic not have a concussion I mean honestly how does he not have a concussion okay going down I feel like she gets some elevator music for that An O-Light. I'll have to look into that. I think there's actually, like, a thingy here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there is. I knew there was a thingy. A little secret hiding place. Have fun, drop dash. All right, the chili dogs. Let's do this. I love that spring, it's just so strong. I'm not playing the slot machines. I'm just trying to get through this. It's not a full-on professional speed run, but I'm gonna get through as fast as I can. Ceno Night Two. I really like the backgrounds. I always, I always know I always talk about that, but the backgrounds in these games are so cool. I mean, you got, like, the city there, me getting killed because I'm not paying attention. This is really awesome. It, it really, you know, a lot of times I think, I mean, it'd end up being a different type of game and it'd probably suck. But what if, right, this was like an open world kind of thing and you could actually go and explore all that, you know what I mean? Like, it'd just be kind of cool. I think it would anyway. Like, I always wonder, you know, what, what is in the background? Does it look so nice? Eh, which way do I... Eh, let's go down. I don't normally go down. We're gonna go down to the funky town.
Okay, I guess we're going back up. So much for that. Oh. At least it didn't squish me this time. That would have sucked. I've heard some really good jazz remixes of the, uh, the music for Casino Night. Come on. You don't need to- oh, that's right. Beat that chili dog to death. This is where you come up from. Come on. But yeah, I mean, he just- he beats his head off of everything. How does he not have a concussion? Or severe neurological damage. But then again, I wonder how, you know, he doesn't have any damage from breathing in, uh, or not, well, he wasn't breathing in them, but, you know, swimming in chemicals and chemical plant zone, too, right? For all we know, that could be, uh, Robotnik's version of Agent Orange. Sonic's gonna be in one of those lawsuit commercials. If you've ever been to chemical plant zone and swam around in this purple mystery chemical, Call this number, you might be due legal compensation. But call now. Open world like Sonic Frontiers, except not not like pop in like crazy and kind of empty-ish. I've not seen the final thing, but I remember seeing some of what they were allowing people to, to do for demos when they were trying to show off the game, and it wasn't... What they showed wasn't impressive, and that's not to say they couldn't have turned it around. Um, and then, I know he, he appeals to a more humoristic type of, you know, reviewing, but, like, I watched Video Game Donkey, and it was like... I saw the game, and I'm like, yeah, this looks exactly like what they showed off in the demo that they let people play. I mean, will I probably get it at some point when it's on sale for like 20 bucks? Sure. But that's not one that uh, I was necessarily, you know, going crazy waiting to play. Hey, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. I don't know. I'll try any Sonic game once. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting the port of Sonic Colors on Steam. It's been a while, it's been a while since I've played Colors, but that wasn't... It was different, but it wasn't a bad game. I did something stupid, I didn't get the invincibility stars there. Remember, kids, don't step into the lava before you get that. Who writes the item? Huh? I did hear about that. A lot of a lot of the positive that I did hear about Frontiers was actually about the lore. Uh, and, you know, I am a lore person, so that might appeal to me. But like I said, I think I'm gonna wait till it's like 20 bucks on sale or something, I don't know. Right now, I've got, I've got a lot of stuff to play. I still wanna try... I mean, I've played it before, but I wouldn't mind streaming maybe Mania once I finish with Origins here. Origins is good! Oh! Okay. I, I won't jump there, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. They don't need no stinking rings. The Sonic comics are something, too, that... I don't know. I never really read any of them. But I've... I know... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But I know some people really do like them. And I've seen some of those... Like, sometimes you'll see YouTube videos where people will, will read them or whatever. Like, they'll do, like, a speed read of them. And it's like, some of that stuff, it's like, huh, this actually isn't too bad. Really, all things considered.
But I do kind of wish, like, they would make Sonic, at least in the video games, a lot darker. You know, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, I'm just not right in the head or something, but I kind of like darker stuff. Kind of like, you know, I like Legend of Zelda. I liked how Twilight Princess and, you know, Orcarina of Time and Majora's Mask, those were dark games. I love that stuff. But, you know, I mean, I watched what could be, like, the, the most evil villain ever. I mean, we're... Yo, Dr. Robotnik, right? He captures little cute creatures and uses their life energy to power robots that he uses to kill things. That's pretty effed up. You know, and now, like, he's got that cube dude and whatever or that follow him around and he's, like, all goofy. He's Eggman now. He's not Dr. Robotnik with an IQ of, like, 500 or whatever, 800, I think it actually was supposed to be. No, he's like, he's like a clown. He's like a clown. He's like, he's like Xant, you know, is the final boss for uh, Twilight Princess. You think you're going to get like this big badass villain. It's like, no, I like to screw around and act like a monkey and, you know, big comic relief. I mean, I know they've done stuff with some of the characters, too. Like, they kind of they kind of messed with Knuckles. You know, I like Knuckles. Yeah, okay, yeah. Being duped and stuff, but then they also kind of made him stupid. He's funny, don't get me wrong, but, like... He couldn't just be... Strong, dumb, hid... Or, like, strong, uh... Not dumb, but... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Shoot. Can't I can't think now. Gullible, that's it. Cause I liked how Knuckles was, you know. I mean, heck, he, I thought he was a badass in uh, the Sonic Adventure games. Just I don't know. They do things with the characters I kind of wish they didn't, and I think it's to, to kind of make things less dark. They wanted to add more comedy. And I can understand that. Maybe that appeals to a broader audience, you know, but I don't know. If I ran the show, it wouldn't be like that. Well, yeah. Yeah, they did. And I mean, like, you know, some of the sad AM cartoons, I mean, you know, like, the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, Robotnik was kind of goofy. He wasn't, like, super evil. But then they had another one. I forget what it was. It was, like, Sonic with the Freedom Fighters. And, like, Robotnik was literally turning them into, like, part, you know, robots and stuff. He had, like, all the SWAT bot army. And they looked scary as shit. You know? It's just... That stuff was cool. I liked evil Robotnik. I don't like this goofy... Oh, it's the Eggman! Because he's shaped like an egg, get it? <laughs> it's like, no, I want I want him like to be something feared. It's almost, it's almost like they tried to... Like in Sonic Adventure Battle 2, they wanted to redeem him, kind of. Like they didn't want him to be the main baddie anymore. You know? Almost like he's a third party and stuff, because even, even in Sonic Heroes, right? Robotnik wasn't, you know, he wasn't the, the Bowser of the game. He was, he was like, you know, hell, he was, he was captured the whole time. He wasn't even really the bad guy. You know, it was Metal Sonic, which I like Metal Sonic. I kind of wish, you know, he was a little bit more awesome too, but, you know. Yeah, I don't... I know there's, like, different comics and stuff, too, and I don't... I don't know... all of... all of that story there, right? Like, I don't... There's people that are, are far more knowledgeable on that subject than I. You know, I can't... I can't really... speak to it too much, but I do... I know what I like as far as, you know, how they... Uh, 
how they did some of the characters and their traits and stuff. I like evil, you know, Robotnik. That's not to say that I hate Goofy Old Eggman, necessarily, I get it, like, he's okay too, but they just don't, in my opinion, they don't have a very good or strong villain in the Sonic games, because of what they did with Robotnik. And really, it just comes off now, because they, like, they overhyped him almost, like, he's got the IQ of 800 and blah blah blah, and now he's, like, he's, he's piddling around, like, doing stuff. It almost seems like Robotnik and Sonic are just playing a game. Like, they never, the world's, like, kind of in danger, you know, but, like, they're just, they just have this eternal struggle because they're both entertained by it, you know? You, you can't tell me Robotnik can't come up with better things uh, to try to defeat Sonic with, right? And then a lot of times, he'll purposely do things that aren't nearly as deadly. Just just because he's like, no, nah, why would I do that? You know? <laughs> it's like, you're doing the villain thing wrong, Robotnik. And then, like, they introduce other villains, and, I mean, you know, Metal Sonic was okay, you know, in, in Sonic Heroes. But then they do stuff like, uh... Oh, shoot, what's his name from, uh... God, my, I, I cannot... I can't think of anything tonight. The guy from Sonic Forces, the bad guy there, I'm trying to think what his name is. You know, I thought they were gonna make him something awesome, and then like, they kinda... they kinda ruined him too. It's like, they're just not good at doing villains. One thing that's kinda funny too is a lot of people didn't like the Sonic Forces game. But I liked it a little bit because it was a darker game. You know, Sonic got captured, Robotnik pretty much took over the world, and, you know, achieved his goal. Parts of the planet have been, you know, permanently changed if not destroyed. Oh, I missed that jump, but it's terrible. You know, like, it, Robotnik felt like, you know, he was really the badass villain that he should have been, in a lot of ways. That might be what they originally called him with the Japan stuff, and, you know, that's not... You know, again, the Japanese stuff isn't anything that I've concerned myself too much with. You know, to me, right, growing up, he was always Robotnik. Um... And when they started calling him Eggman, maybe they were just trying to kind of line up the things, but that's also when they started to, like, tweak his personality. And maybe that's... they saw that as their opportunity, like, okay, let's kind of do some things with them to, you know, make him a little different. I can see that. Fine. I think it was kind of smart for them to change it originally because a lot of times too like even the like some of the music tracks in the games right like if i recall correctly i think even uh sonic cd uh it had a completely different soundtrack in the japanese version because they were you know trying to make it appeal to you know what market you know each market they were trying to make them both happy Don't worry, Z. I, you know, I can't spell either. I can't, I can't brain half the time either, so. You're in good company. You're in good company. We're, we're functional, but barely, right? <laughs> All right. Though Oil Ocean is a very interesting level, zone, um, rather. I never really cared for it a whole lot, admittedly. I don't... Yeah, I go left. Back into the left. I'm gonna get that ring box. Hey, Tails killed the seahorse. Look at him being useful. 
Gun from Play of the Month. But yeah, I don't know, it's just... I wish they had, like, a really good... Like, dark, evil villain in Sonic again. That's that's what I want. I, I, I want... I want that. I probably won't get it, right? But that is what I would really like. Oh, did I do it? I did do it right! Oh, man, that was one thing. That was one thing I got tonight. Heck yeah. Got Metropolis Zone. So somebody brought this up in chat when I was watching them. They're like, why is this called Metropolis Zone? Because it's not really a metropolis, right? But I think I think what it is supposed to be is it's metal. Like I think they were trying to play off of like metal maybe a little bit there. But they didn't really... I don't know. That's my guess. I could be way off. That's me trying to make sense of somebody else's... Ooh, that was just in time. I was about to lose my rings. Now the praying mantises are gonna be praying. They're gonna be afraid of this. They don't want to touch Supersonic. Apparently neither did those either, which I'm kind of happy about. <laughs> I'd have definitely killed the mood had those squished me. It's like, yeah, we're gonna go soup. Never mind. I was just kidding. These stars are terrible. Everybody that I have watched play this, especially the newer people, they get here and they they get their rage on. Not that I blame them, but they definitely get their rage on. <laughs> it's a very frustrating level in many ways. Ah! Ah! No! I will take a look at all of that here in a moment. Die. I actually don't need to do this. I just need to do this. Boom! Let's go. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see your point there with the lore. Oh, really? Okay. That's... I did not know that. See, I love... I love learning stuff like that about games. I really do. I think... I think the development process for any game, you know, tends to be real interesting because you never know what you're missing, right? Because a lot of times they intend for things to be very different than what the final product is. Which I kind of feel bad for... The people that make these games, right? Because I, I would like to assume anyway, most of them enjoy doing it. They want to make, they want to make the game that they think is awesome. But then they have all these time constraints, budget constraints, me jumping on spikes. Um, maybe not so much that one, but they have all these things going on, and they can't actually, you know, make maybe what they intended to make. I would imagine that's very disappointing. But then again, maybe the whole process is such a long slog that they're just like, you know what? It's not perfect, but I'm glad that shit's done. Let's move on to something else. I don't know. 
I mean, I could... Maybe it's a little bit of both. Maybe it is both. I don't know. But, you know, I'm also... Person, like, I, I like stuff the way that I want it. Like, I'm, I'm never happy. So I'd always be tweaking it. The game would never get released if I made it. <laughs> you know? So, I guess you need a... Oh, there goes my rings. Oh, that pro gameplay right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's why it says 100% completion, not, you know, pro, no deaths. Why can't I jump? Okay. I got stuck to the wheel, I think. That's not cool, and I can't jump through him. Again, I don't remember that happening in the original version of the game. I don't think it did. It's one of the, the many things that make me just kind of go, WHY?! Oh, man. Oh, I did not eyeball that right at all. That's right, because it's mirrored! That's fine. That is fine. Oop! Oh, come on. I cannot do this! You know what? Why am I- why? Why would I do that when I have tails? Tails. Give me a lift. It's like being Knuckles and forgetting you can climb and glide. Which happens to me more often than I'd care to ever admit, but, you know. I saw somebody else do that too, and I didn't feel so bad about it anymore. I'm like, yes, I'm not the only guy that forgets. Let's see. All right. Act two. It's got those. See that? Those lights there. It almost looks like it's a little face. You know, like you got the two eyes and the mouth. At least that's how I look at it. Yeah. Yeah, that he does. That he does. I just did not want to do that, but you know what? Maybe this will work out. This is, uh... This is like, uh, Bob Ross, right? We'll call it the joy of, uh, Sonic 2. There's no such things as mistakes, just happy little accidents. Maybe that's what I should call my next stream, the joy of Sonic 2. Oh no! It got me. I also miss having that air attack shield thing that you get in Sonic 3, because I love that thing. I think it gets underutilized, but it's awesome. Okay. Forget what it's actually called. It has a name. Man, something about this level's really screwed up. Oh no, that's right. This is that thing. I'm coming at it from the other side, so I didn't recognize it right away until I stabbed myself in the head. In Sonic. Alrighty. Yo, you're not you're not so intimidating anymore there. How's it going? Bop. Like that's such a terrible like he's an annoying enemy, but if you think about it, it's like he can only attack once. That's such a terrible like robot design. 
It's like, yeah, he's good for one, and then that, that's about it. He just stands there regretting his life decisions. For the rest of eternity. Or until Sonic, you know, releases the animal inside of it. Oh no, come on. Yeah, I know you can enable it. I, I'm just kind of playing the game as they kind of remade it. Just like when I played through Sonic 1, I know you can... Okay, that was good. You can turn on, like, the 7th Emerald. I've not done that. I probably should. Maybe when I play Sonic 1, I'll turn on, like, the special shields and everything. It just... I don't know. It... In some ways, I want to play the game the way it was more intended to be played, but at the same time, I mean, I am playing this mode, I should take advantage of it. But, I want people to, you know, watching... Why is... Okay, my controller keeps wanting to disconnect. Sweet. It happens. I got it for free, I'm not gonna complain. Usually it behaves itself. Oh god, no! No! Why'd you do it? And these guys are why I can never keep my rings in this zone. Hey! You already threw your arms! Throw your arms in the air! Throw them like you just don't care! Alright. Time to abuse the hell out of iframes! Let's go! Oh, I was trying to do something there and it didn't work. Shoot. What'd I get? The rings are so cheesy. Could you imagine Sonic if they just had a health system? I mean, really. Could you imagine that? game would be so much harder at points. Starfish doing kamikaze explosion. Yeah! Yeah! True enough. The song, the music for this is so relaxing. So relaxing. I almost, honestly, like, Almost puts me to sleep, like I'll start yawning and stuff. I think that's I think that's what they want to do. Like we'll give him a nice slow one, then we'll throw him in winged fortress and really put him through a loop. How did that what is that hitbox? What is that hitbox? It's like those, uh, those spikes, or the spikes, the sparks on the final boss of Sonic 1. They just like, they hit you even though they don't. There's a lot of weird hitbox stuff with this game. So there is. That's what I get for not playing classic mode. Dude, all right, so if, if we think about this for a second, right? These robots I'm defeating, we're how far up in the air? And I'm just like breaking them and releasing these animals, most of which can't fly. Like I just sent them meter metering to the ground to their death. That's kind of messed up to think of it that way. Like that turtle's dead. That turtle's gone. I don't know what that other thing is. Maybe it's okay. Like, all those guys. There's just, like, somebody is on the ground somewhere. Like, what the hell is going on? It just seems like all these splattered, you know, animals on the ground. Actually, 
Would there even be a trace of them at that point? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know about the, the spin dash on the plane, especially if you're playing super. Alright. Oh, goodbye, Tails. I'll press F in your honor. Everyone's favorite zone, Wing Fortress. Like, I see so many... No, I didn't want to do that. No. Oh, you know what? I just saved myself. We are good. We are... So I'm probably going to die a couple of times trying to do this. Because I'm not great at it. But for anybody watching this later, I'd like them to be able to see. So you can kind of just go super and jump through that. I probably should have waited there. This is the one time where I'm actually like, yeah, supersonic for the win. You grab that and you don't get knocked back and forth with those little, whatever they're called, annoying things. All right, let's get up here. Question is, will I have enough rings to actually do what I need to do here? Oh, come on. Hey, you. This chicken's got, like, a minigun. Let's see. I gotta go left. Grab those. Uh-oh. Eh, yeah, we're good. Oh, I gotta go left. All right. Come on. Yeah, come on. You know you want to fight. Watch me, like, almost kill this and then get murdered by those spike platforms. Oh, I didn't this time. Sweet. The shortcut. I, I probably don't know the shortcut you're referring to. You know, the closest thing to a shortcut that I'm aware of is what I did there, jumping through the, uh, the propellers is supersonic. I sort of did it, just not quite, huh? I don't know, I'll have to watch you sometime, Z. I mean, you could. You could definitely do that, but, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying not to get hit, sort of. Dude, Sonic breathes in space. Just, you know, just want to point that out. Really? Because I changed it so there shouldn't be as many... Oh, I messed that up. We're restarting that. That was terrible. That was horrendous. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to go quite as hard as you do on this, but... Maybe I'll just turn off the ads. It's kind of... Oh, we got Robotnik. Mobile suit Eggman. I'm probably gonna fight this the lame, safe way. Just so people know about it. If they don't, in case some new person's watching this later. Welcome back. I didn't realize I had so many, because, like, the way it's supposed to be set up is there's only one, I think, every... It's either 15 minutes or half hour. So if they're happening more often than that, something ain't quite right. Got some hands there. 
Robotnik show in hands. But yeah, this is the easy cheesy way. You have four ads, dang. They're really trying to get you to buy stuff. Boom. Take that, Robotnik. But yeah, this is very slow. It's not exactly... Uh, doesn't exactly make for the most interesting boss battle ever. However, it is a guaranteed way to beat this guy. If you've gotten to this point and you just don't feel like doing anything particularly fancy. Well, see, now you gotta go buy yourself a van. And... Then you can buy insurance for the van, right? That's funny. Come on. Now, if you're not playing mirrored mode, of course, you're going to be hanging out and doing this the opposite way that I'm doing it. You're going to be on the left-hand side instead of the right, so keep that in mind. This is mirrored mode. Come on. I don't think his backpack jet thing was supposed to be on. But it was. Oh! Actually, I might have let him get a little too close there. I think I was still safe, but... I was slipping. There, and then he just falls apart, and that's what you call an end boss. He's no perfect chaos, but you know. Yeah, you, you would have done it. Yeah, in just over a minute. For sure. But you know, I gotta show people the safe way to do it. In case they're not, you know, they're not looking to go hard in the paint, you know? Maybe I'll try doing that one of my playthroughs. It'll have to be the Tails one. There's one more thing I must do. Yep. The eighth Chaos Emerald. There's eight in this game? In this version? And why would we need eight? You already, you already get super four but seven. There wouldn't be a point. Gotcha. Gotcha. But what would the point of the eighth one even be? You know what I mean? Like, why would you need eight? Like, for Sonic 1, I could understand, because you can't go super. Huh. That's kind of cool. So originally, they were going to have eight emeralds, so they went from from six to eight. But then they decided to just do seven. That is interesting. Yeah. All right. I mean, heck, I'd try it out. Yeah, the credits be a little bit long. Half these names, actually most of these names, I wouldn't even be able to properly pronounce.
Dude, I love Mystic Cave Zone. Uh, soundtrack smacks. I'm debating whether or not I want to do another Knuckles run in Sonic 2. I have not decided yet. I already have one, so I don't know. There goes the Death Egg. I like how they show that at the end and it's crashing toward Angel Island. Robotnik's mad, and you can kind of see, you know, someone's in the bush there watching. My assumption is it's Knuckles. Okay, come on, Robotnik. You can... Oh, oh, we got this. That's right. There we go. I do not. I have not messed with any of like the cheat stuff for these games yet, to be entirely honest with you. Is it up, down, left, right? Up, up, down, 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 left, right, left, right. Ow! Is this what was supposed to come up? Because this is what I got. Ah, oh, no. All right. Wait. What? No, go away. All right. Up. Up, up, down, 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 left, right, left, right. Up, 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 down, down, down. Man. And then start. Hey. Okay. So is there a way for me to choose which one that I do? Or do I have to play through all of them again? Dude, we can jam to some music. Alright, I'm in sound test. 1F. Okay. And now I'll do a special stage. All right, let's do this. Oh my God, this is messing with my eyes already. Oh, this is gonna be tough. That, oh, that's so, ooh. Ooh. Let's do this. 
No! Oh my god, that's mean. What? What do you have to do that perfect? Dude, what? What is this? This is torture is what it is. I'm guessing you have to do it perfect, because, like, I didn't really screw up a whole lot. Uh-oh. Oh! Well, in near perfect. Maybe not perfect, but pretty darn close. Oh my god, what is... Wait, what? Oh god, I don't... What? What was that? I don't even... What? I don't understand what just happened there. Oh no! No! That's dirty! Tails, quit losing my rings! <laughs> Oh, Tails, damn it, why? Why you do that to me? I do believe it's possible, but that's definitely... I'll give it one more shot here. I just gotta, like... Not suck is all. And I am bringing the suck today. Because I'm letting Tails pick up rings that he shouldn't be getting. Dang! Oh man. This is the this is the bonus content for this stream. Watch me torture myself. You gotta get that very close to perfect. At least Tails doesn't have any rings to lose, but now I have to not suck. 210, that's nuts. I think I did okay there, but that wasn't particularly great. They did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remembered that time. Oh my... Dude, if you did this with two people, that would be so easy, because one person could get each side. What the hell is this? Wait, what? Oh, I'm scared. I just missed a bunch of rings. What? Oh my god. What? No! What? 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 Dude, they just like broke my mind with that. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, that's messing with my eyes so bad. No, 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 this is cursed. This is cursed. Oh. Why? What kind of evil human being came up with that bonus stage? Holy cow! With that, like, that swirl thing? I'm glad they didn't actually implement that in any of the levels. That would have driven